Damika walks out as Namal talks big. Fonseca back in the game. North to boycott elections. Time waster Kiriella gets returned from Prasanna. The leader, Deshe to Magakiena, Prothi Pelagesma. Damika walks out as Namal talks big. When he met the cabinet, President Ranil Wickremesinghe reacted to the ongoing talk that Parliament will be dissolved and a general election held first. He told the ministers that presidential polls will duly take place this year as per the constitution. Premier Dinesh Gunawardena agreed, but observed that the president is also empowered to dissolve Parliament now. Speaker Mahinda Yappa Abewardena assured Parliament will not be dissolved prematurely. In the meantime, Rajapaksa family's unofficial spokesman Udayanga Wiratunga repeated his claim that there will be a general election on August 10th. But both Basil and Namal Rajapaksa now say the likelihood is a presidential election. Just yesterday, Basil met some SLPP big shots and Damika Pereira at his home. He said to them that Ranil told him a presidential election will be held first. He also said 25 SJB MPs will be with him by June 15th, but I am not sure if even one will join him, said Basil. We were asked not to make a decision until that day. Support will lean towards Ranil if he can get at least five or six like Harsha de Silva, Iran Wickramaratne, Kabir Hashim and Thalatha Athukurale. Then it will be pointless for us to field a candidate. I asked Damika to be ready to contest if anything of that doesn't happen. Basil added. For Namal, things don't look good. After getting to know that Damika is a worried one, he invited the billionaire entrepreneur to his home, along with some of his loyalist MPs. Damika said it is meaningless for him to contest if the president contests. My opinion polls say Sajith Pimadada is in the lead. Ranil is certain to lose if he contests on his own. If he doesn't contest and gives me the chance, I am ready for the challenge, he said. Namal warned him not to be misled by all that talk. No one will come to Ranil from the SJB. In the end, he will not contest either. I am certain of that. It will be the end for our lawmakers who go after the president. Namal said that he himself will contest if Tamika doesn't, or else the JVP will automatically get the opposition leadership. Namal said further that although he was invited to take over electoral level organising for the presidential election, he had no time for that. Party work is already underway at electoral level. I will accept any challenge on behalf of our people in the SLPP, he added. Anyway, Damika walked out saying he will finalise a decision with Basil. Basil gave him the candidacy hopes a long time ago. Damika was appointed MP to fill the vacancy, created by Basil's resignation on the 21st of June 2022. Two days later, he became a minister. It was two weeks earlier that he received the SLPP membership. Due to Aragalaya, Damika's ministerial position lasted just 16 days. Once Ranil became the president, Damika took his resignation letter and met Basil. But Basil prevented him from resigning and advised him to wait for two years. If Ranil is not to our liking, a SLPP candidate will contest at the presidential election. Basil said a person like Damika will have a big chance then. Ever since, Damika resigned from his businesses and has been building himself an image while spending around three billion from his own pocket for the SLPP on the way. His friends think he will not just wipe his hands off and go home after making all those commitments and spendings. It is even likely that like some others in the SLPP, Damika will get his ministerial portfolio back by lending his support to Ranil to build the country. Fonseca back in the game. In the meantime... The Field Marshal, too, is on the march again. The Leader TV brought to you just days ago how he is going to launch a book on how he waged the war in the North. Sarath Fonseca, with Sinaka Silva's support, is onto something. That is to run for the presidency again, and even the Daily Mirror has reported it. He is to make the announcement at the launch of his book in June. The current SJB chairman's plan is to contest independently. He has managed to obtain support from some SJB MPs and is holding secret talks with other MPs and politicians, according to SL Story News. 
Daily Mirror says he will focus on a corruption-free country and on national security. He has been encouraged to contest by a trusted advisor of his, ex-army officer, Dr Seneca Haripriya Arnold de Silva. Returning from abroad after a few months, he is back in the limelight since Diana Gamagi was unseated from Parliament. He has met Renil on more than seven occasions. Both have been dealing closely for around 30 years. It is said that Sanaka is the one who has been the middleman to get ex-JVP members to join Renil. Those who are in the know say promoting Fonseca may well be a plan executed by the wily fox. Whatever happens in politics, Renil's name is involved in one way or another. North to boycott elections. Election chief R.M. Ratnayaki says presidential polls are due to be held on a date between September 17th and October 17th. Southern candidates appear to have ignored the North in their campaigns. So do the opinion polls that issue weekly predictions as to who is in the lead. In this context, a proposal has been made by the Tamil National People's Front to the people in the North and the East to boycott the election. In a statement, the party describes this particular election as one to elect a leader to work for the majority within a unitary state. Tamils, who want a federal structure for the country, have the only option to show their rejection of such a leadership by boycotting the election, it says. Also, they can demonstrate that they would not abandon their rights for fear of repression, says the four-page statement. Meanwhile, Tamil parties in the north are yet to agree on a proposal that they should field a common candidate. MP Sivanyanam Srithiran says the ITAK will consult its district bodies and take a final decision. What will happen if the North decides again to shun elections? That will be something bad. Tamil's lack of faith in democratic politics pushed them towards an armed struggle. So time waster Kiriella gets return from Prasanna. Yesterday, the House had an adjournment debate proposed by the SJB to question the government's law enforcement. In the meantime, Ranil was in Parliament to meet his ministers and state ministers separately. Normally, there should be consensus to continue the debate during the lunch break. By noon, all ministers were with Ranil. Chief Opposition Whip Lakshman Kiriella proposed continuing the debate during the lunch break. Only State Minister Aravind Kumar was in the chamber at the time. Unaware of the opposition plan, he agreed to it. But Deputy Secretary General of Parliament Hamza informed Kiriella around 12.45pm that a cabinet minister should approve a continuation. Chief Government Whip Prasanna Ranatunga, who was in the cabinet meeting, was told about that by his secretary. Prasanna told the secretary to allow the debate to go on. After the cabinet meeting, he went and remained in his office inquiring as to how many MPs were in the chamber. By 4.30pm, only eight opposition MPs were there with all ruling MPs out. Immediately, Prasanna summoned a deputy of his, Madura Vithanaj. Receiving instructions, he went to the chamber. He said there was no quorum and asked for the bell to be rung. The bell rang. Still, there was no quorum. Sittings had to be adjourned an hour early.